I've packed a carry-on suitcase and personal item bag for hundreds of flights, and these are the packing hacks that I find myself going back to every single time. They are incredibly simple, easy to do, but also effective, so I think you're going to love them too. Use the Ranger Roll technique that I demonstrate in this video to save space and prevent your clothing from creasing. You may have heard of packing cubes, but compression packing cubes are on another level for organizing your suitcase and maximizing the space inside of your bag. An epic combo would be to use the Ranger Roll technique to roll your clothing and then place all of that rolled clothing inside of a compression cube. You can swap your regular water bottle for a collapsible water bottle since it's going to save space once it's empty inside of your suitcase. You can also pack your shoes in a plastic bag with the sole side down and then stuff smaller items like socks and undies into the shoes. Or if you're leaving a hotel, instead of a plastic bag, you could also use the hotel shower cap. Another use for the hotel shower cap would be to pack your bathing suit or any wet travel towel that you are traveling with inside of the shower cap to take home with you. And since shoes, wet bathing suits, and dirty laundry can leave all of the items inside of your carry-on suitcase smelling a little bit funky, I will take one of these dryer sheets and just throw it in before I zip my suitcase up so it can help keep all of my items smelling fresh for the entire trip. Consider making use of your socks to pack any breakable items as they're going to provide extra padding. An example would be little souvenirs that you might pick up like these little wooden animals that I brought home from Cape Town. Always stack your bras together one over the top of each other to maintain their shape and then if you do have any collared shirts, you may want to take your belt and then loop it through the collar when you go to pack it to maintain the shape of that collar. And then place your sun hat upside down in your suitcase and fill the head hole with small items like socks to maintain the hat shape. Sun hats can be an absolute pain to pack, but they do not have to be. Honestly, just having your sun hat upside down is going to be a hack in itself. Take a cotton pad and then place it over any makeup palettes and then close it up as this is going to prevent any of these palettes from breaking or cracking in your suitcase. You may also want to take a different cotton pad and then soak it in liquids such as makeup remover or nail polish remover and then just take the pad and place it into a plastic baggie and take it with you. If it is a pad that is soaked in liquid, it no longer counts as a liquid to TSA and it doesn't need to go in a designated liquid bag. You can bring as many cotton pads soaked in as much liquid as you would like through airport security. I also like to pack my makeup brushes inside of a hard shell glasses case as this is going to prevent the bristles from being damaged during your trip. I'm also pretty minimal when it comes to the jewelry that I'm going to bring with me on a trip, but I do like to have something. So I'll often choose a pair of flat earrings, not like the hoops I'm wearing today, that are not going to bother me for sleeping or get caught on anything, and then I'll choose a necklace that is going to be mid-quality where I wouldn't be too sad if I lost it, but it is something that I can just leave on through the duration of my trip that I'm not going to worry about losing if I end up swimming with it in the ocean or wearing it in the shower. If you like to have more than one option, a nice way to pack necklaces for travel is to simply loop them through a straw. Then you can pack them together and they're not going to get tangled with each other. Another way I'll pack necklaces is to lie them down in a layer of saran wrap, so I'll have the saran wrap, I'll lay the necklace down, and then I'll put another layer of saran wrap on top. So it's like you're plastic wrapping your necklace, but it is going to stop it from getting tangled. You can use this plastic wrap tip with your earrings as well, but I actually prefer to use a pill container. So this one is from the dollar store and it has 14 days worth of pills. But if I'm only going away for one week or 10 days, I may end up using the additional spaces that don't have any pills, which are just simply my daily vitamins inside of them and I will put things like an extra pair of earrings or even rings. If you have any of your own simple and effective packing tips to share, definitely leave them down in the comments. I love reading these comments and I am always learning from you. When it comes to packing liquids in your carry-on or your personal item bag, you are going to be limited to one TSA approved bag per passenger. I find that sometimes I'm packing small liquids but they can have pretty bulky caps on them. So sometimes I will take the liquid bottle and pack that in the TSA approved bag and then pack the lids separately. It ends up saving a lot of space if you find you just can't quite close the bag with all of the lids on. Some liquid bottles absolutely do require the lids so the contents do not spill out 
everywhere. But as an extra element of security, I will also take a piece of plastic wrap or saran wrap and just place it over top of the lid and then screw the lid back on. This way when the plane is in the air and all the pressure changes and this bottle ends up expanding, I'm not going to end up with sunscreen all through my suitcase. Whenever possible, I will also stock up on sample size containers and products from places like Sephora. I will end up reusing these containers, but also just having that small little sample size can be perfect for a short trip. And if you have a contact lens case that is lying around, I often find that it's the perfect small size for things that you need very small quantities of, such as eye cream. And if you do like to wear perfume, but you recognize that those bulky glass perfume bottles are not very travel friendly, you can pick up one of these $5 travel atomizers on Amazon. I've been using this small perfume atomizer on all of my trips this year, as well as just keep it in my purse with me at this point as it is so convenient. And one more liquid that is absolutely worth packing on any trip would be a stain remover or even one of those tied to go sticks that is going to help you remove small stains that you accumulate through your travels. And if you find that you are having trouble packing all of these liquids within your carry-on allowance, then consider replacing some of these liquids with a solid state alternative. I'll often end up replacing things like a liquid sunscreen with a sunscreen stick. And there are many other ways that you can do this, such as replacing your shampoo with a shampoo stick or your body wash with a body wash bar. The thing is that if you do end up having all of these bars that you're using in the shower, do remember to pack an extra plastic baggie for them so you can pack them up again after they have been used. I've also done a video that has a ton of hacks specific to packing liquids in your carry-on that I will link for you down in the video description. Another hack that I love to save space in my carry-on suitcase and personal item bag is to load any ebooks onto your phone, e-reader, or tablet instead of packing the physical book. And even consider loading things like loyalty cards onto your phone in your Apple wallet so you don't end up packing all of these cards that you probably won't even need inside of your wallet on your trip. And when it comes time to actually pack your suitcase, identify your heaviest and bulkiest clothing items, such as your jackets and your shoes, and then wear them onto the plane instead of trying to fit them in your suitcase. You could even take this a step further and put something like your beach towel around your neck under your jacket to walk onto the plane. Desperate times, desperate measures. And as for the items that you are putting in your suitcase, take your heaviest compression cubes or just your heaviest items if you are not using compression or packing cubes and place those towards the wheel side of the suitcase because gravity. Because when you turn your suitcase upright, everything is going to fall towards the wheels and you would like the heaviest items to be at the bottom of your stuff, not at the top. And once your bigger items are packed, feel free to use the spaces between the compression cubes or in the corner of your suitcase or anywhere that you find little holes for smaller items. Remember that things that do come in pairs, like your shoes, don't necessarily need to be packed together side by side. And if you have a folding or rolling toiletry bag, open it up and lie it flat on top of your other belongings as the last thing that you pack. Lying it flat instead of folding it up often tends to save space. And then once your suitcase is fully packed and you've stuffed things in all of the little holes that you can find, you can zip your suitcase up, lift it up, and give it a few good hard shakes. Then when you put it back down, unzip it, you'll often find that there's a few extra inches of space that have been created and you can fit those last few items in. Magical. Don't forget to leave any of your own packing hacks down in the comments and then also consider subscribing. My name's Megan and I share videos with tips and hacks just like this every single week and I would love to see you back here for the next one. Bye.